Yeah, Andrew, that's right. This uh, proving to be quite the firefight, as you put it, for firefighters from 10 different departments. That's how many were called to battle this fire involving two buildings behind me. Fire chief believes it originated from this building, which used to house a Boost mobile store. I want to show you the back of the building, though, because you can see the roof is caved in and the second floor collapsed. The fire so heavy and dangerous that Manessin Municipal Fire Chief Delmar Heppel did not want to risk sending his crews inside. Challenges that I um, uh, immediately faced were multiple explosions in the Boost Mobile building. I don't know if it's speculation, but it could be lithium batteries. But I had multiple explosions, probably upwards of 20 coming from the rear of that building. Uh, I, I was told that there was a tenant there that had cancer. I mean, it could be an oxygen thing. We weren't unsure at this time. Among those looking on in disbelief Saturday, Howard Higgins and his son, David. I woke up to this phone call and looked at my fiance and said, hey, I got to go. I got to figure out what's going on with my dad. David rushed over to find the building where his dad lives on fire. Fortunately, Howard was not inside, but his belongings, including medical supplies, were a significant loss for Howard, who has recently beaten cancer. Everything my dad did own, as you can see, he's now up in smoke, so we're going to start figuring out what to do. Howard knows one thing he can do, though, keep things in perspective. As long as nobody was hurt, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a building. Everything in the building can be replaced. Amazing attitude there. You can see uh, both buildings just completely gutted. Of course, the best news is that no one was hurt, including uh, Harold, who we spoke, Howard, who we spoke to there. No definitive word either on how this started. Um, you heard the chief uh, throwing out a couple of options that uh, might have started this fire, but we checked in with him, have not heard back as of uh, our appearance uh, live on TV right now. We're live in Manesson tonight. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News.